viewers welcome to sunny Gold Coast No rugged up cold weather crap, but welcome to the sun. Warm weather, shorts, t shirt, and nurse I was jealous because I just spoke to her on FaceTime and she's rugged up to the max in cold weather down south. Sucks to be you, nurse. Anyway, all right, viewers, just quickly this beautiful car which I'll give you a preview of later, is why I'm driving up to Airlie. Yeah. I'm pretty much uh, roughing it. So there'll be no off-roading. Today's prepping. Tomorrow morning I'm out and about. Prepping that today um, would be going, I've got to hook the trailer up, <laughs> which is, this is my dream car. I've got to give you a preview of this. This is, this is, I've told my best mate John, and he wants to sell this on the first bid at that one. That's mine. That would be my second operator. No, so we'll crack the hits, but that's okay. Anyway, this is the trailer that I've got to hook up. It's especially designed that John got to carry his BMW off-roader and the mountain bike. So I'll be hooking that up tomorrow morning. I've got to get some gear ready. Um, yeah, I've got to get some gear ready. Not much, some straps, some tools. I've got to take some gear off that. He's given me a list. Um, yeah, so while I'm doing that, I'm gonna put some short clips he's done while he's been on this BMW Safari ride up to Airlie and through the, um, I guess, the the hills the outback of Queensland over the coast um, yeah I'll put some of that on and uh, I'll get I'll be his bitch and get all his gear ready all right enjoy the clips and I'll get back to you <laughs> Some moments back in time I could have swore that I was in it Down to every minute Don't know what I was sipping But I felt like I was doing fine Oh my Turns out that I just got A little bit south Just a little bit north of the Georgia line
of sudden comfort Hang with my friends all playing games We all started at a full house Ended up just me and good old James I could swore that I was winning Kinda had a feeling Last thing I remember I was drinking till the moon shined Oh my Turns out that I just got A little bit south Just a little bit north of the Georgia line Okay, viewers. Well, day one of the trip. I'm on the road already, been on the road for a couple of hours, left Goldie about five, what the five in the morning. I got my glasses on. And it's fucking, well, sorry, it's bloody cold. Um, not cold, but it's a bit foggy up here near Gympie, I am. As you can see, it's a bit foggy. Put a bit of a B roll up driving into Gimpy into the servo. Um, yeah, it's a. I've been told it's not going to be that scenic. Um, I'll try and get some drone footage if I can. I'm going to get into Rocky about mid afternoon, so I'll see what's around there that I can film for you. This might be a boring episode. Um, we'll see how I go. Don't tell Nurso I had a a uh, big breakfast wrap so let's be eating healthy this trip because I'm not doing any peloton bike riding which is my fitness lately anyway I'll give you a bit of an overview this is I'm too scared to actually fart in this car because it's probably worth more than Panda 13 the BT50 and a few other things put together that of my toys put together in the one car so this is the Range Rover Vogue that I'm driving um, all the way to uh, Ely Beach and I think my good mate will be driving it back it's very nice like I said I'm not even gonna eat inside um, it's a V8 diesel it's the autobiography series which is supposed to mean something special John will probably can tell you all the details. He had this trailer custom made, it's a tilt as well. 
these are the three lock-ins for the motorbikes it actually comes with and I think I filmed it the other day yesterday with the mountain bike raise so yeah pretty he sort of designed this I think We've got it custom built so it's a good bit of kit let's see do there pulling in so yeah I cannot the suspension on this car is absolutely amazing I cannot believe how good it rides it's bloody amazing um, you can't even fill the trailer I mean it's empty you, you don't notice it. it it's empty but we'll see how we're with three bikes if we're taking three bikes back what it feels like but um, it's absolutely a pleasure to drive this air suspension is amazing it just convinces me it's pretty roomy inside which you'll see in a minute I'll get some footage in there it convinces me to maybe in a couple of years time to upgrade to a, a Ram not a Range Rover I can't afford a Range Rover this is a lot of money well a Ram's a lot of money but a Ram's cheaper than this trust me um, yeah I'm, I'm thinking I was yeah I wasn't I was rethinking the Ram but I reckon a Ram might replace the BT50 in a couple of years time maybe four four years time see here we go how you going guys but yeah so I mean oh my god look at the leather in this red leather it's unbelievable no you know say that was a nice coffee um, the seats I've had them on like three times already they massage your back while you're driving shoulders lower back lumbar I'm gonna have them on a fair bit this trip definitely um, all I can say it's a pleasure to drive anyway yeah a coffee hit the road hopefully I can get you some scenery if this fog clears up and uh, hit Rockhampton yeah. this I've just positioned the camera I'm about an hour out of 
Rockhampton and my memory card's going low so I'm just going to quickly wrap today up um, what really shits me <laughs> it's not a rant I'm not going to yell, I'm not going to go off I'm not going to swear is when you overtake in an overtaking lane and two cars ahead of me overtake and the one in front of me goes really slow to overtake a caravan and then we are into the merge and the car in front of me brakes I, I just anyway I don't think people understand what overtaking lane means if you can overtake and you've got enough speed overtake if your car has got enough engine output to overtake overtake my goodness Um, other than that, it's been a good day. I actually got off the Bruce Highway and found a route that I could get the drone out, so that was good. Good bonus. Um, didn't try to get the, the Range Rover too dirty. Uh, beautiful car to drive. However, it, like I said before, it's nice and roomy, which makes me think I need a bigger car inside. Not for five, another four or five years. Yeah, I, I still want to get some more mileage out of the BT, and you know I, I can afford, let alone afford something like this. This is beautiful to drive on the highway, on the highway. Yeah, you know, I, I, there's a lot more off-roading I want to do, and if I was to look at buying something bigger, I'd look at a Ram because I've always liked them. And, and for a guy my size, I mean, let's face it, I'm not small. Um, yeah, I. It, it's nice and roomy. It, you know, I imagine the cab would be a bit like this. Um, yeah, so that's something to look at down the track. Got to say, small bloody beer tickets for that one, I think. Um, however, um, I can't wait till we put some weight on the trailer. These bikes weigh a ton, so it'd be good to see what this pulls like. I say with the V8 that it's got, it, it wouldn't have a problem. Um, yeah, see, seen some good spots for camping out. I don't even know where I was. I'll put it up on the map later uh, when I edit. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I, don't, I have to check the. I don't think it's that big of a drive tomorrow, so I might do some driving around, sightseeing. And then we pick up John and his bike and see if there's any other hanger on us. If there's any more bikes to come back down south to Brisbane or Goldie. I don't know. Hope you enjoyed the footage so far. It's not that exciting, sorry. No camping. It's hotel room up and back. But it's something to get me back into the rhythm which is good I'm trying to test out all this new well it's not new camera gear it's just I haven't touched it for a while a good eight months so let's get me back into the rhythm and what it's taught me is I've missed it yeah I've missed being on the road even though I'm on the blacktop uh, I've missed being on the road yeah so if that means something I probably miss camping and off-roading and towing Panda 13 or even swag anyway and camp cooking you know the crab the crab fish sanger wasn't too bad a bit salty but not too bad I had a crab ball don't tell Jane I did, don't tell Nurse I was deep fried anyway um, that was nice Got some few adventures lined up this year, which is good. I'm going to start getting back into diving. That would be good to get on YouTube. And there's a, I'm going to arrange next, this year, going to the States. I'm arranging a, uh, it'll be a, a once in a lifetime tick off. And it'll be something to do with overland, overlanding. So, um, it'll be good. Yeah, so there'll be an episode coming up when I'm in the States. 
and I think you'll enjoy it and it's something that we should be doing here and I'll just leave it at that I won't spoil it too much well that's enough of me rabbiting on hope you're all well and uh, I'm enjoying the 29 degrees that's outside at the moment so if you're down south of Victoria or South Australia sucks to be here because I know it's freezing down there it's shorts and t-shirt weather tomorrow all right see you in the morning Bye. well we made it we're in early I'm just gonna try and get some shots in for you and then yeah bike gang are about an hour away it's fucking traffic mayhem here yeah I'm gonna get some beers apparently and ice I've got taskings but here we go I'll give you some footage of entering early Here we are in Yamba, heading back to Gold Coast. We're fully loaded with the bikes and I thought we'd do a Sam Sanger's Kelsey's Coffee stop. Yeah, John's just bitching in there. Typical Range Rover driver parks in front of the kiosk, as usual. I wasn't driving, John's driving now. How am I filling up the car park? <laughs> That's John. Say hello, John. Hello, John. Hi. <laughs> and you thought I ran, I, I do a rant. Anyway, these are the bikes we had to pick up. What was that? I've done a hip driving. Oh. Look how much rubber you've still got on your tyre. <laughs> so, anyway, they're the bikes that pick up. I'm gonna get a singer. I'll have a flat white, Two, extra shot. White. Yeah, we're back, mate. I told you I'd come back. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't sure when. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A large, you got a large one? Sam Sanger's, Two Kelsey's large Coffees. Large. 
and I, and why you got big br uh, bacon and John, what are you on? What's the best, the bacon and egg? That's how I usually start my morning. Bacon and egg? With the uh, big brekkie. The big brekkie? And oh, one of them, thanks. And a yeah, long yeah. black with an extra shot? Long black extra shot, same size. You got a large, large one? This is the menu. Do you have this one here? Large one? No, medium one. Medium one? Medium one, medium one with three shots. Yep. That's the menu. I don't know if you'd be able to eat that, but I'm having the big brekkie. Man, that's pretty good. Right. Bacon and egg hash brown and slice of cheese on there. Two, two big brekkies. Do you have dietary requirements? Yeah. Can I just get three eggs? Three eggs? Yeah. Um, like on a uh, bun or just three eggs? Just three eggs. Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, yeah, let me do a custom amount there. Anyway. Five bucks, That's the old FJ there. It's not a bad little setup it's got there. Well, you're talking up like John, Yeah. John. John's good bay in mine. Loving death. And it cracks me up. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, probably something different to our normal episodes. As I've said before. Um, yeah. That's it. Until next episode, don't forget to subscribe. Um, any feedback, questions, want to ask? I can't tell you much about the Range Rover. I don't know much about it. Um, I'll try and answer as much questions as I can. I'll give them to John. Um, but yeah, subscribe, like, hit the notifications for our next trip to Darwin or Northern Territory and staying at Dundee Bush Camp and uh, catch you next time. Stay safe. Be good. Cheers. Beefies. What the fuck is beefies? Hmm. Let me check that out. I'll cut that out. I'll cut this bit. But no, so he doesn't see. <sighs> Big crab. Sorry for the fucking guy on the uh, lawnmower thing. Just putting dust all over John's car. Sorry about that, John. <laughs>